What is going on, everybody? It's Juggalo Gaming. I'm Jonathan8015, and welcome back to Gemcraft Frostborn Raft. Yeah. So, for the last probably month, two months here, when I've done recordings and everything and live streams, I noticed. A clicking noise and it didn't bother me too much because it wasn't bad but for this like month of March starting off this new series and doing gemcraft it only got worse right if you look probably I don't know I want to say even my last Gemcraft uh, hint video I did. I believe, honestly, even just the video of me saying, hey, I made a guide on Steam. I believe you didn't hear that clicking sound. This is recent. And it's been in every single Gemcraft walkthrough video. For the, you know, this, which started in March. I started the recordings in the last week of February. So somewhere... I would say about mid beginning February, mid February. I don't remember when I did the walkthrough. I think I did that like at the end of January, beginning of February. My mic has been having these clicking noises. I'm sure you can hear it now. And it's really annoying. So today I was like, okay, what I need to figure out what's causing this. So I am messing with all of my filters. For my microphone. Alright, I'm going to bring it all on the screen here for you. Let's see. I'm just messing with, you know, my compressor, my expander, my noise suppression, and my limiter to see if I could fix it. Nothing worked. Also, if you're wondering what this plugin is, that is. Those already are in the mic. That is my equalizer, which without that, like if I put it at normal, I sound pretty bad, to be honest. This helps make my voice more clear. So it's definitely needed. Um, but anyways, messing with all these, and you can see my mic name there. I have a Razor Siren X. And I've had no problem with this mic until recently. And I know they got newer versions of the Siren out and everything. I've had this mic now for two years? Maybe? Two, three years? Maybe more? Holy crap, I don't remember when I bought this. <laughs> but either way. It wasn't that. So I pulled out my computer and had OBS open, had it monitor and output my mic setting so I could hear it for my desktop audio and I was moving around the USB ports to check the it, it just wasn't it was something maybe with a port that wasn't getting enough power or something or something with the cord even. I unplugged it multiple times, plugged it back in, plugged it unplugged it from the Razer Siren mic itself and plugged it back in. Nothing fixed this issue. Every single USB port, it had the same little click noise. And it was so annoying. The good news is that if I don't talk, you don't hear it because my mic has that uh, filter on there. The, the uh, I believe it's called the expander, which means it only picks up voice. So you won't really hear it unless my mic activates small like really small noises like even i was tapping on my keyboard there you probably it probably won't even activate the mic if it does it's gonna be very very small and even really loud noises like i'm gonna clap as loud as i can and you will hear a clap but it will be very it won't be loud at all in fact i don't even know if you heard that Oh, that kind of hurt my hands. I hit my hands pretty hard there. 
and that is because of the compressor. The compressor makes really, really quiet noises, though, like, or not really quiet noises, but it makes it so that if I'm talking a little bit softer, it brings up the, uh, the game, you know, puts it into about the yellow zone. And then I move the threshold of that so that if I talk really loud, it doesn't peak. Right? And it kind of keeps everything kind of like at a good speaking level. Anyways, I've been trying to figure this out. Almost pretty much ever since I stopped streaming at 11 o'clock. And yeah, I took a little break and ate. That's about it. And I still have to um, do an edit on episode 14, which will be Friday's episode. Uh, it actually ends on episode 14, should be out the 18th. Should be this coming Friday. I'm recording this, by the way, on the 13th. Um, and this is episode 19. Woo! As you can see how many, um, I got 1 through 9 uploaded. I recently just got rid of my 1 through 9 things. Also, I kind of need to go to... Where are you at? Where's Gemcraft? I need to go in my Photoshop and make some more copies of this and put the and change the numbers. Obviously, I have 10, 11, and 12 sitting here, which look really nice, don't they? I might want to move this up a little bit. I'm, I'm debating on doing that or not, but they're my thumbnails for the series. Uh, I've only got three done, and 10 would be on Monday, which is the 14th. So tomorrow, then 11 and 12. So I got up to, I got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I need to do thumbnails for Thursday and Friday. And on words, because if I open up Adobe Photoshop Elements, I might as well just go ahead and get as many of the videos I, as I have done, which as you can see was up to this one is up to 19. Uh, this would be an extra week ahead. Which means next week, I definitely have to record. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you kind of can kind of get where I'm coming at with this. So anyways, this all started with me apologizing for that little annoying clicking sound, which is only activated when I talk and I sit here and talk your ears off. So I do apologize. Please forgive me. <laughs> but I had to get all that stuff out. I thought I deleted this. Maybe I didn't delete that. Maybe I just left it. <laughs> Whatever. Where we last left off, and trust me, I had to go back and watch episode 18 to figure out, oh yeah, we were doing a four and the Swarm Queen kind of just really messed us up. So I was debating what to do the whole time as well in the back of my mind. I was thinking about doing some more endurance. We have a lot of maps we haven't touched on Dorn's one, and a lot of maps we haven't put a multiplier up to increase it even more for XP. A lot of these were just the, like this one. I jumped in and grabbed the wizard sash. So it's only like a thousand, but I guarantee that I could probably get close to, I'd say at least 10, like that, 29,000, 30,000 range easily probably on all of these also in case you're wondering oh sorry sorry uh i do need one of these up though that probably looks weird on the video because i was trying to figure out and it, it showed up down here for some reason instead of over here on my outer monitor but i wanted to Bear with me. Jesus Christ, YouTube. Why is that up on this screen?
Hopefully that didn't show up in OBS. Okay. Well, I think I should be good. <laughs> I don't know. But honestly, I'll probably end up getting a better mic. Probably here soon. So... I recently watched... Let's Try GG. Recently put out episode 27. In fact, it's been up for five hours as of me recording this. I'm going to click into this video and immediately pause it so you don't hear the video in the background. And I'm the only one to comment. But the comment is pretty funny. So I'm going to start on my stream. Or on, yeah, stream? Really? I'm streaming now. I'm going to pull this over so you can kind of see it. Well, that didn't work. Why did I do that crap again? I just wanted to go on this screen. I don't want to show anything else. I just want to show the comment. All right, there you can see the full comment. So, basically, it says, I love how you say you should do the maps that have wizard stashes. When every map has a stash, it's just some give shadow cores, have talisman fragments, have maps and fields, some of them have those nice skill tomes or battle traits. That's kind of how I imagined saying it as I wrote this. Point is, that's why I did a guide. <laughs> Since they changed the game from when it originally came out. Anyways, I'll be wondering... I, or that, uh, wow. I said, anyways, I was wondering when you would go back. I just realized I completely mistyped that. When you, when you would... Is, uh, I should have said that. When you were going to go back, basically, to, for, for the amp tone. And also, you may be able to get to the Z map. Uh, it's not showing the full thing. How do I get to show the full thing? Oh, I went to my own profile. Do I have to go and edit to show the full thing? Oh, yeah. I should probably edit this now. I was wondering when you would go back. For the amp time. Also, you may be able to go to the Z map tile and pick up mana with what you have skill slash level wise. I have a Drumcraft series going on right now. Hey, look, he made it into the video. I have a Gemcraft series going on right now, and I'm linking the guide in the first 10 episodes. And then I just said, always be having fun. All right. If you don't know who this is, this is Let's Try GG. Uh, he has a all achievements run that he's doing. He wants to try to get all the achievements in the game. And it's been good to watch. He just forgets quite a lot from his, I, about, I would say it was almost a year ago now. He did Gemcraft Frostborn Wrath, and I helped him out so much. And he did Iron Tomb, or Iron Wizard mode. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, the uh, hard mode, basically. And then he came back and started doing this all achievement run, right? But he's done so many games also in between time, even playing balloons and playing other, you know, games as well. So he kind of forgot a lot of what I originally told him. And I helped him out little by little, but also said, hey, I got a guide for this. And I love how he goes back and finally gets amplifiers. And I believe it's an S4 or whatever. All right. It's this map right here. He goes back to get amplifiers, and as he, when he leaves the map, he's like, yeah, I should probably just start opening up, you know, going for the maps that have wizard stashes. It, that kind of made me chuckle, and that's kind of why I wanted to write that. It's like, hey, 
You do know every map has a wizard stash, right? Anyways, let's uh, minimize that. Right? So a lot of these I've already opened up the stash, so it's not going to show that, oh, there's a stash in W1, because I already opened it. There is a stash still in W3 I didn't open, and W4, and that's one. There was stash here, stash here, stash here. You, you remember which ones I've got in the series of Bach V2 and so on and so forth. Every map has a stash. Now, I might have gotten some of them, which is why you might not see it say, oh, there was a wizard stash, because this one was in journey mode. This one was in, oh, this one is endurance. This one's in endurance. This one was in journey mode. I picked it up on the way. You know, so on and so forth, right? So I was thinking, right? I should definitely go back and maybe get some XP. Also, really? He was level. I'm going to wait to get back to the map here. Well, that was a horrible place to do that. All right, let's see after this level. Uh, he's level 85 where he's at, by the looks of it. It's kind of hard to tell. I don't want to play the video, I was just skimming through, right? And I said that. That's only a couple of levels over me. And I think actually at the beginning, beginning of it, because he did like three endurance modes and got like 20 grand in all three of them, because he had some of the, uh, the battle traits on. He really jumped his level. I, I don't, I think I was actually over him at this point. But either way, we were very close to this, defeating the Swarm Queen. I'm just wondering how I want to do this. Yeah, that's a good question. How do I want to do this? You know what? Let's do endurance for this video. This video is going to be very endurance heavy. It's going to be very fast. Um, I'm going to try to get as much XP as possible. So bear with me. Because we're going to start W1. Yeah, I know I already got like 2,000. But it's still pretty easy. I might skip W3 because that's at least at 7,000. Um, but anything under 5,000, I'm probably going to just re-hit up the beginning fields here. And get as high as I can. And probably go into like maybe the Q's, T's, and R's and into Endurance as well. Maybe. I haven't decided that yet. We ain't gonna get that far in one video anyway. So we're gonna go to Endurance, obviously. Let's see here. See, I only picked up two of the battle traits so far, and that was Overcrowded and Haze. Haze does really nothing, it just makes the wave stones come a little faster. But this does. And I think I'm only going to have that at a 6. So we'll do, run a 6 and a 12. Yes. Alright. Feels weird not having my keyboard profile. Right now. Uh, let's think here. So I definitely just want to hit them with a slow trap. And then a poison right at the very beginning. Suck it up, monsters. That's what's gonna happen to you. And I think we'll just do a grade three slow and a grade four poison to kind of start things off. Poison, as you can see here when you highlight over the gem, which was pretty funny. I don't think he mentioned it. He, he mentioned the fact that traps in your armor, which is true. Uh, mm, 
And it says there at the bottom line of that first paragraph. Oh, I'll go up to like the second one. It says gems and certain traps have limited range and decreased damage, but ignore armor and have increased specials, which means, you know, that 85 poison. If that was in the tower, it's only 47. You see what? Poison gems in general, though, if you highlight over it, I'm sure you probably read this a little bit earlier. Is its own thing. It, it ignores armor anyway. So we don't have to worry about armor at all right now if we run poison and that's what we're going to do but to get you know what Let's, we'll do that we'll we're on pure poison a pure poison jam a poison jam people oh <laughs> that's kind of making it sound funny Does that sound funny i think it sounded funny you know, what kind of poison gem do we want to put in here? <laughs> should I stop? I should probably stop. Um, but I do also want to have kind of a kill gem here. I think we go with two great threes. Right? We put one here. Hit in random. And then we put one up here. We also put a grade one gem in here, turn rage. Most of our damage, I think we're actually going to stick with traps and maybe I should have put points in the traps at this point. If I planned on doing this the way I, I am doing it, but it doesn't matter if these are in traps or not, they're still going to ignore armor. This just is a little bit of extra regular damage on top of that poison damage. Uh, even though this will have more poison damage over time effect, this will have that 50 base damage every hit, and then also apply 26 damage over time, which technically, I guess you could argue, makes that a little bit stronger, where this one does at max 16 damage, but does 85 damage over time. You see what I mean? They're about even. That's about 76, and that's 90-something. They're not too different. I mean, that's a grade 4 to grade 3, though. If I increase this to grade 3, it'd probably be about even. Uh, in fact, let's find out. Yeah, so that's an A3 and 47. That's actually over. It's base damage, if it hits for max, does about the same amount that that poison over time does, and it still adds 47 poison damage over 9 seconds. Um, and now, since we only have to deal with hit points, and I can see here, right, we're doing 85 damage in 9 seconds. That's 47. That's another 26. Um, yeah, so we're doing about 100 something. I don't really doing math today. Yeah, about 160 or 150? 40? 140? I'd say 140. Because right, that's 80, so it still needs 20 points, which kind of takes up that. And there's 47 right there, so it's 150 uh, points. I'm sorry, I got very heavy in the math there. Um, so anything over or under 150 is going to be pretty much instant killed as long as they get hit by the effects. Which is kind of why I have this on random and have this on least gem affected. So let's go ahead and start this because this is going to be a lot. See, look. this is going to take out majority of them already. And that's a lot of poison damage to be stacked up. Right? Now we're going to make sure they're definitely hitting that. Right? And let's do a great two great threes. I'm going to put a five on one of these. And I'm going to put a four on that one. Yeah. I want to make sure they get poison. And poison is good. So, I don't think I have nothing to really worry about. And we're already over our previous XP. Oh, they're starting to get through a little bit here. Interesting. I could always upgrade these, though. That sounds like fun.
Okay, that's still about 280 points of damage. Um, they're still well under. As long as they get affected, they're dead. I just want to make sure they get affected by the poison. That's a lot of poison damage. Oh, she's already had it. Oh yeah, and we're still raging at this point. Which we could probably stop, but I don't see a reason to. I mean, we're already sitting at 20,000. We have a decent amount. They're not getting through. They're starting to get through. I mean, they they are sitting at like 351 health right now. Normally 340. Um, yeah. Well, let's go ahead. They're still taking a lot of poison damage. So, what I want to do is, hmm. You stuff. All right, let's make a grade six here, put it here. Put a five on there and get some more poison up. Yeah. And that's 37 grand. And some extra achievement. And then we got six more Dorance waves. Some crappy fragments. And I realized we're almost at the 30-minute mark because, you know, we spent a lot of this episode talking. And I do apologize for that. But there's a lot of stuff I need to really go over. But yeah, we got some nice achievements here. Not bad. Not bad. But I did want to bring that to light. And yes, that's kind of what I was waiting on. I'm going to add that one to the shape collection, even though I probably should have looked at it first. Probably should have added that one and then put that one up there for right now. Uh, but now next time I go into a, a map, which we're going to do one more. This one's going to be pretty much the same thing here. Except this time we're going to add five to here and five to here. And we're just going to get rid of armor because obviously we didn't don't need armor. <laughs> uh, but... We're going to keep these up pretty good, and I'm not worried about anything else. Maybe I the amps. Nah. We're good with that, right? Yeah, I think we'll be good to that. Okay. That's... I did put endurance. Yes, I did. Okay, cool. <laughs> Let's make sure. It's like, wait a minute. Did I put endurance? Please say I did. Okay, there's stockpile. Uh, also, I'm going to redestroy that. I think I already got that one. The achievement for that. But I kind of want to double check. So I'm going to put. I actually wanted to put these a little bit closer. No. These are just to kind of start getting poison on them. Right. But the main thing is, I need to stack the poison. So let's go with grade twos. 
put a couple of these in. Right, I think that should be good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's put a grade one up here. That's always fun. That just has hit points, so I really don't care which one I put on there. I'll put a grade two in there. Just for shits and giggles. I mean, honestly, I don't think they'll make it past this. <laughs> oh, look, they're starting to get pretty far. Okay, time to upgrade. And put a five on it. That's a great stick. Dealing at 382 poison damage. So they get by this one, they're screwed. Also, I need to get rid of this. Okay. Got a little bit of damage. Hey! Hey! I didn't say you get through. I don't know how they're getting through. Oh, we are still gem bombing. And they're not really getting that high in level yet. If I had a slower gem. I'm not good with that. I mean, right, we are pretty much at the 30-minute mark. This is the last run that we're going to do. All right, let's get rid of that. Pretty sure I'm pretty much at my limit here. The good thing is they're poisoned by quite a bit. Just having fun with this, right? I mean, this is mainly just to get XP, anyways, at this point. I think we might win this because each time they get through, they're taking more and more poison damage. Which means they're dying more and more. I don't know how many more rounds they can make. 
How many rounds do you think they could get through and survive? Because I don't think they're surviving too much longer. No. Yeah. Not bad. So we had our 30 fragments in our inventory. Um, we had a pure poison gem with 3,500 hits. And we gained 90 XP with freeze spell crowd hit as well. And 10 more adorance waves. Uh, which, you know, we did 56 that time to add 7 more to that. That's how much more I have to do. And we got a 24 square line mark on the edge fragment. Nice. I think that's actually useful. Twenty six, twenty four. No, it's not useful. Let's we'll get rid of that. All right. Um, first off, anything not in collection probably should be my main thing, but I don't want to get rid of anything huge. These little eights, though, they can go. These light greens are very, very low levels. They're the first to go. All right, give me a second. I'm sorry about that, everybody. Uh, what was I doing now? I gotta remember. I'm so just gonna have to talk to my grandma though when I stop recording and say you need to ask before just dishing out something you think I might want to eat. Please just ask. If I would like some, you know, like a decent human being, don't just assume I want to eat what you're doing. Like, seriously, it's kind of annoying. Okay, um, looking through everything, I will have to do that next episode. I just wanted to clear a lot of that out because we are already 38 minutes into this video. I need to end it. I do apologize though for the very long beginning in these two decently uh, endurance waves. We might do a couple more just to build up a little bit more of a level. Probably get into the 80s and 90s and then continue down this way. Like I said, I want to get Barrage and Whiteout before heading up to the Z Mac pile. Uh, so that's the plan. So I think that's what we're going to do. But, anyways, everybody, thank you for watching. Hope you have a great week slash weekend, and I will see you next time for episode 20. Catch you later.